Wow, look at this racer. Well done, bro. You got the race award, 2016, bruh. Hey, we got a flashing light, so I'm gonna see if I can do this without swapping batteries. Um, I went to class this morning, as usual on Thursdays. It feels like about three days ago. I sat through that, it was immensely boring. I came back here, I got something to eat. I headed into Larrick, got there about two o'clock. I was there for about an hour, just hung out, talked with everybody. Uh, it's a really chill environment when they're not really busy. They had a couple cars in there, a couple projects, nothing huge. Um, pulled the codes on the 330, determined that it is a faulty post-cat oxygen sensor on bank two, so we went ahead and ordered two. Um, we're gonna do both post-cat oxygen sensors. They're gonna be in tomorrow, so I'm going back tomorrow at two for them to install those. Um, we discounted labor rates and parts costs, which I'm very appreciative of. <coughs> um, so the only issues we could run into is if they are original. I can't believe they are a 226, but he seems to think it's it's quite possible. Um, they will likely be seized in there, and there's a good chance when they come out, they take the threads with it. So that adds the pain in the ass for them to go and retap the threads on one or both, or hopefully neither, of those oxygen sensor receptacles. So I guess we'll see tomorrow, see if I can get a ride home for mom. If not, we'll get a loaner, and it won't be the Benz because they won't have the Benz tomorrow. Somebody else has it. So maybe the other one's a Ferrari or something, I don't know. But, should have that fixed tomorrow. What else was going on in there? Um, machine shop thinks that the engine's coming back tomorrow. Think is the operative word. They don't really seem to know what's going on over there. But if Tom trusts their work, I certainly do. So um, it would be cool if that does come back tomorrow. I'll take the big camera over. We'll see what that stuff looks like. Hopefully it looks nice and new. And uh, then they can start assembly. They still want my car in there on Monday. It's currently snowing. We've got another inch and they've just heavily salted all the roads again. So I'm thinking about probably pushing it back a week. I have uh, two weeks, a little less than two weeks now before the um, spring break trip. So I should have some time to, uh, you know, it's gonna be warm up in the 60s for several days. So we need a day or two of rain followed by just some generically dry day and I'll get the car in there, drop it. Um, they're putting the Mini Cooper that's in there back together and they're going to dedicate that whole section of the shop to me and the engine and all that work so that's nice. It's kind of in the corner out of the way which I like. Away from the doors and everything since it'll be in there for so long. Um, the ECS order is like two weeks delayed. It's supposed to ship this week now. It's supposed to ship a while ago. I think they're saying it's going to ship the 4th which is tomorrow. The mower comes back tomorrow. Saturday night at midnight I've got this pretty substantial paper due about some case analyzation, I don't know, Nora Secura or something like that. I gotta look that up and do all that. Tomorrow, Saturday's the Cleveland Auto Show, making my final and like 15th appearance to that show in my time here, so that'll be fun, we'll do that. I don't expect it to be much, but it hasn't been in many years now. Um, so it's gonna be a really busy weekend between hammering out that paper on Friday, Auto Show, and the rest of the paper on Saturday. Sunday, I've got to get all these stupid people together for the group and put together this 20 minute presentation for Tuesday. Then I've got an exam next Thursday, then the following Tuesday class, and then we're headed out of here that next Wednesday. So it's gonna be a really busy several days here. Um, also, after Larrick went down to the grandparents' house and picked up the remainder of the things that were in the um, family room, I just brought them back here to more easily photograph them. There are all these pictures, paintings, whatever. Some of them are valuable, some aren't. Um, there's this guy, actually, I think he's from Hudson, Bill Breeden, William Breeden, and he did all these like winter scenes and they're limited production and they're all signed somewhere by Bill William Breeden himself. This one's number two, 587 of 950. So I think there's like six of those and then there's some just generic oil on canvas. Uh, my mom's dad took that somewhere. A lot of these are Breedens. They're all like really nicely framed, matted behind glass, um, and they say framed to museum quality on the back to preserve the art. So I took pictures of all of these. These are all on Craigslist, all 10 of them. I don't expect to get a lot for them, but hopefully I'll get some commission selling those <clears throat> over the upcoming weeks. If they don't sell, they're gonna be donated to whatever, but hopefully they do. There's a couple more small cheap ones that were just up in the bedrooms. I may put those up on the Craigslist free market and just get rid of them. That's what Craigslist is great for. Just some generic ones that didn't sell at the raccoons, yeah, weird stuff that didn't sell at the uh, uh, state sale. But 
whatever, more stuff to chew up my time. So also got the whole China set. It's like a, uh, it's gotta be over a hundred pieces. It's full service for 12 with every kind of cup, saucer, mug, dessert plate, saucer, gravy dish, you know, everything you can come up with. And they're in these heavily dated 1960s plastic protective bags that I, I totally had the 330 loaded down today on the way back. Got everything here. They painted the ceilings in the living room and the kitchen and the foyer of the house. It looks great. And the cleaning people are coming in, I think the 14th to do a full deep clean of the house before it's photographed for sale. So we're making good progress with that. But I'm going to get to bed tomorrow, day number three in a row, back at Larrick. Um, get the 330 hopefully done for good. See the engine. I really hope, I really want that back because once it's in their hands, they have, you know, every part they think they need. I'm sure they're going to come in the little things here and there that they'll need to get. But once we get in there and then they can start building and tearing apart the existing, it should move a lot quick, a lot more so, a lot more quickly than it has um, over the last, you know, six weeks, which have just been waiting for the block and heads to return. So I'll keep you updated tomorrow. I'm going to get up and do that and then work on that damn paper for a couple hours. And then there's a game tomorrow night that I'm going to watch. So, all right, I will talk to you guys on Friday. Good night.